Hi coders, welcome to Coding Casual. And in this video, we'll try to simulate uh, rolling dice. And by rolling dice, I mean the same that you use when you play the game called Ludo or any other application which uses random numbers. So in order to make a simulation of a random numbers or, or a rolling dice, what you can do is you can simply import a module called random and then generate random numbers from it. So suppose if I want to make a variable called dice and I can set up a number for which will start from 1 to 7 and this will give me a number, a random number which will start from 1 to 7. And if I want to make a dice out of it, we can create a function called roll up dice and pass it no parameters and then copy and paste statement from here to here and then return that number so now what's gonna happen is if I want to use if I want to generate that random number starting from 0 from 1 to 7 of 1 to 6 I can simply go up a function go up a dice and let's see what we get so it's rule up a dice so you have to change roll up a dice and we'll replace the text and see now if we run the function what we will get is a random number and that random number is here so in order to make a simulation of rolling up a dice we have to have players as well so let's set up a player called player 1 which will have a 0 value and then player 2 which will have of course a 0 value we, we are trying to create a game out of it so now we have a random number we have a dice which can be used from for both the players so what we can do is you can say player 1 equals to player 1 plus dice and then we can print a number or we can actually tell the user that you know this is something that you rolled up dice has been rolled and you got what now what we can do is we can press we can call a string function so that we can create the integer value into string and then write dice here so and plus we have to tell for whom what we have rolled up a dice what we can do is we can again write string and then in between we have to have spaces as well and then it's P1. For player 2 we can do the same by writing this and by writing player 2 here and here as well we have to replace the text but we have to roll up a dice again we cannot use the same which the player 1 has used so we will roll up a dice again and we have a second dice and then we can copy the statement and then paste it over here so now we have to check which player won right so in order to check the same what we can do is we can say that if player 1 value is greater than player 2 then print player 1 one or else one player two one this is how you create a simple game of ludo or or, or a simulation of a dice we have to write player one here and in order to use this function we can simply copy the same and then remove the print function and simply call up this function and now we'll get to know who won when they rolled up a dice let's replace p1 from p2 here and we have to push it in string because we haven't declared what p1 and p2 is so you can remove string as well if you want to let's see what the result is and for us Let's see who won. Ah, player 2 won because oh, 
it says that they rolled up a dice and both of them got seven let's run it again and let's see whether this scenario comes back again and it's player two just because player one got three and the player two got five but if we get that scenario where they have the same number we have to say that you know it was a draw so what we can do is we can create another function i mean another statement which is the elif and say that if player one value equals equals to player two value then print it's a draw it, it's a draw and let's see how now the function works we call in let's see what the result is and probably that scenario is very less likely to come but this is how you create a simulation of rolling up a dice or generating random numbers if you like the video please press the like button and subscribe to my channel